Next on the checklist is the L4 block. L4 is a modified block. So we are going to go to the book. And basically they just widen these pieces so that they're easier to work with. So this is a very straightforward assembly. It's a nine patch assembly. You've got a block here and then a block and a block. And so you assemble this in a row, this in a row, and this in a row and then assemble the rows together. So it's very basic. I'm gonna attach this rectangle to this square and then attach this to make these blocks. For the center, I'm gonna attach this piece to the square. That's gonna put this one to be next, this one to be third, and this one to be the fourth to finish this center section. So I've got my pieces laid out as usual. And basting, extremely straightforward for this block. I've got a directional fabric, so I've got my arrows labeled on each one of my focus fabrics. For the little bars, I'm gonna base the short section, then the long sections to give me the most accuracy on these little bitty ends. For the squares and the rectangles, I'm gonna base the opposite sides and then opposite sides. Rectangles, I'm probably gonna base the short ends then the long ends, just because I do that kind of a thing on the smaller ones. So I'm gonna get started by assembling these end squares, and then that will give me a row, and then I can move on to another row. So I basted all the three pieces of this little corner here, and I've connected these two already, and I'm gonna connect this to here to finish this corner, and I will move on to the next section. So I've got my corner unit all together and I'm going to leave it down here because even though these corners are similar, they are mirror images of each other. So if I was to try to put this here, I wouldn't be able to get it to that orientation without flipping this to this side. So make sure that as you're putting these together, you keep them in the correct corner. So I'm gonna, I basted my rectangle that goes here and so then I'm gonna attach this to that. And then I will be able to make my other corner unit and attach it and have this row done before I move on to the center section. So I've assembled these pieces and I've got this almost completed and then I can finish this bottom row. So my bottom row is now all assembled and I'm going to set this aside and I have already basted this little piece right here and my center and connected them. So then my next section is to go to this piece, which is here, and then I will base it and attach it as I go. I got this left side connected to the center square. Now it's a matter of attaching the top piece. I've got the top portion on my central unit and the side piece basted, so I just have to attach it now. Okay, now that my center section is complete and I have my side rectangles basted, I will attach them to my center section and form the middle row and then attach it to my bottom row. So I've got the center section all assembled and now I'm and all the fabric go in the direction and I'm going to attach it to this bottom row. So the bottom two rows are connected now and I'm going to put this aside and assemble my corner units for the top row and then connect them to the center rectangle. So I've got my corner block all assembled and this one's basted ready to assemble and I've basted my center rectangle. So I'm gonna finish this unit and finish the row. So I've completed both of my corner units on this top row and connected them with the center rectangle. So now I just need to attach it to my middle row and I will be done. So I've attached the third row onto the other two and I have a completed L4 block.